find the equation of the tangent line to the curve, e to the xy plus x squared plus y squared equals 5, at the point 2 comma 0. The point of this problem, we want to use implicit differentiation with an exponential function. Now, how do I get a tangent line? Well, normally we start with a function, we take its derivative, we evaluate at our point of interest, that gives us our slope, and then we can go to the equation. Here, we don't have a function. Instead, we have an equation that defines our curve. We could still talk about tangent lines. So, we'll need a point and a slope. We're given the point 2 comma 0. We should check that that's on our curve. So if I let x be equal to 2, y be equal to 0, we'll have 1 plus 4 plus 0 equals 5. So our point's on our curve. To get the slope of the tangent line, we're going to use implicit differentiation. So the idea here, well, if I want a tangent line, we don't need the entire curve. All I need is enough of our curve in a neighborhood of our point. So the idea is we're going to throw away most of our curve. What's left over, we're hoping, is going to be y as a function of x. Now, with that, treating y as a function of x, well, we go to our equation. If I have two things equal, I take the derivative of both sides. That'll stay equal. And then I could try to solve for y prime. Now, y prime will come into the picture. Okay, if y is a function of x, when I take the derivative with respect to x, that's going to go to y prime. If I have functions of y, we'll have to apply the chain rule. Now, once we work out what happens with the derivative with respect to x on both sides, we then want to isolate y prime. Then, when we evaluate, we get our slope. Let's perform our implicit differentiation. So, we have our equation. We treat y as a function of x. I have two expressions that are equal. When I take the derivatives, they're going to be equal also. Now, derivative of 5 with respect to x is going to be 0. So the right-hand side, taken care of. For the left-hand side, we're going to go through term by term. Now, first term, e to the xy. If I have e to a function, the chain rule says, you will return e to your function and then multiply by the derivative of your function. So I'll have e to the xy times xy prime. x squared is going to go to 2x. y squared, we need the chain rule again. So that's going to go to, okay, the 2 comes down. Then the exponent goes to 1, so I have a 2y. Then we multiply by the derivative of the inside, which is just y prime. Okay, so that's what we're trying to solve for, so we need that. On the other side, we have a 0. Now, we have to work out xy prime. So that's just a product rule. So derivative of the first times the second plus the first times the derivative of the second. So that'll give me, OK, y, that goes to a 1, plus we'll have x times y prime, OK, and y prime is itself. Then we multiply through by e to the xy. So we'll get these two terms here. Okay, we bring down the rest of the terms. And now this equation is the one where I want to isolate y prime. So we'll keep the y prime terms on the left-hand side, push everything else to the right-hand side. So this moves, this stays, this moves, and this stays. For the terms that stay, we're going to factor out a y prime, and then we're going to divide. So that gives me an expression for y prime in terms of x and y. Now, we want a number, so I'm going to put in 2 for x, 0 for y. When we evaluate what comes out, it's going to be a minus 2. So that's going to be the slope of our tangent line. For the equation of our tangent line, we have our point, we have our slope, we have the equation of a line. Put everything together, I get y equals minus 2x plus 4. So that's our answer. Now, it's not enough just to get the answer. How do we actually use this? So I have the equation of my curve. What point is near 2 comma 0 
with x value equal to 2.01. Now, here, this is not a function, so there may be several points with x value equal to 2, so I have to give you the y value also. Now, for this point, what we're going to do, we're just going to use the tangent line we just found. Okay, that goes with this point. Put in 2.01, then what comes out is going to be the approximation for the y value. So I do that, we have y equals minus 0.02. Now, to check that, what will we do? We would take 2.01, put it into our equation for x, and then solve for y. Now, we're not going to be able to pull this apart, so what we do is we get another approximation, but one that's going to be a lot better. So I can do that using Newton's method. Now here, I'll take this equation, push everything onto one side, so I'll have g of y equal to this here. I want to find the zero of g of y near x equals zero. Okay, so we're hoping if I stay near x equal to zero, then I'm going to get my minus 0.02, or a number that's very close to that. So we run a few iterations of Newton's method with this setup. It's going to start stabilizing around y equals minus 0.02, 058. So we see that this point is going to be very close to the one we got with the tangent line. Now, it's a final check. You take your 2.01, you take your y here, you put them into the equation, and you'll see what happens on the left-hand side. It comes out very close to 5. So our approximation is not that bad.